Good morning. It is Thursday, March 11th, 2021, the 20th day of Lent, and this is Cafe Devo, coming to you almost live from First Congregational Church in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. I'm Pastor Steve Wood, and as usual, my pal Bugsy has crashed in the corner. I've got a fresh pot of Starbucks Pike Place coffee uh, here on my desk, and I hope your day is going well. We're reading, uh, continuing to read, in fact, from the book, The Lenten Story, uh, a series of devotions prepared especially for the members and friends of First Congregational Church. If you're not part of our local fellowship, we invite you to take part in these devotions as well. And today marks the halfway point, day 20 of Lent. Reading from the book of Mark, chapter 12, beginning with verse 18. Then the Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection, came to him with a question. Teacher, they said, Moses wrote for us that if a man's brother dies and leaves a wife but no children, the man must marry the widow and raise up offspring for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first one married and died without leaving any children. The second one married the widow, but he also died leaving no child. It was the same with the third. In fact, none of the seven left any children. Last of all, the woman died too. At the resurrection, whose wife will she be since the seven were married to her? Jesus replied, are you not in error because you do not know the scriptures or the power of God? When the dead rise, they will neither marry nor be given in marriage. They will be like the angels in heaven. Now about the dead rising, have you not read the book of Moses in the account of the burning bush, how God said to him, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. He is not the God of the dead, but of the living. You are badly mistaken. About 600 years before Jesus was born, David wrote, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me, so far from my cries of anguish? Psalm 22, 1. David's words were prophetic, and they described the anguish Jesus would feel during crucifixion. So when Jesus cried out on the cross, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? He was showing himself to be Messiah. Even more than that, he was enduring the pain and suffering of our sin. The sense of abandonment was overwhelming, even for Jesus. He suffered more than anyone has ever suffered, yet he remained obedient. When we are insulted or accused or mocked, our tendency is to become defensive to become angry, envious, resentful, anxious, and proud. We want to strike back. Jesus did not strike back or defend himself. He went humbly and willingly to the cross because he he had his mind set on something else, us. So meditate on the life and death of Jesus today. Let the magnitude of his sacrifice sink in. Let the pain of his suffering become real in your mind. As scripture says, let us run with perseverance the race marked before us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Hebrews chapter 12. Have you ever felt abandoned or forsaken by God? Have you felt mocked or persecuted by others? How do you respond? Bless us this day, O Lord, as we call upon you once again in the name of Christ. This is the day you have made, and we choose to rejoice in it. But we ask for your guidance. We ask you to guard our words, to fill our minds, to protect us and to guide our steps. May we show your love and represent you well as we live and share the gospel. Bless us in this, O Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Cafe Devo. It is a Thursday here in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. I'm Pastor Steve Wood, and I'll see you tomorrow.